up with it is what's good what's going on youtube i am back with another racial reaction episode well not a reaction but another ray rtt another ray talks and thoughts i kept on starting this over and over because my phone was recording right but um anywho y'all today we're gonna be talking about dub britney the whole other relationship um my last video was about um tawanda and britney now it's gonna be about britney and dub because dub finally speaks out about what's been going on and plus he talked about chris sales but i really don't care about that that's a whole nother beef that seems like it's just for clout but um this shit right here y'all gonna y'all gonna fit y'all we need to talk about this like this is crazy but um yeah without further ado let's get into this video as y'all know that the family he made a video the other day saying um basically he exposed chris sales we're gonna talk about that a little bit like first he exposed chris sales with some pictures on the wall because y'all know that dub is literally dramatic he always got to do over the top shit that makes him <laughs> just just funny but whole time your feelings hurt because he's one of those people like if he feels type of way he gonna try to like act like he don't care about it whole time he do because he's talking about it so I feel like um he care about it but anyway if y'all don't know what's going down right so chris sales makes a video like um hey britney you know they don't know how to treat no woman you feel me he uh he gets some money he lose weight or whatever he um I'm, I'm gonna show you how a real man supposed to treat you i'm gonna take care of you and your son so in the comments britney was pretty but laughing at he's like Brittany like left a comment under Chris Sale's video laughing. And it's just like, what the fuck? Dub mad as shit. Yeah, I don't care what nobody say. That nigga was mad. Especially when he said something about he'll take care of Wooop. And then he started he made this whole video about how he been with Britney and he basically took care of her. But he but he don't know how to treat no woman. But he's basically like saying like um if it wasn't for me she wouldn't even be out here if it wasn't for me she won't be having no money if it wasn't for me she won't even be in the scenery like what so then he goes to say that you know i would not want to talk about chris sales because i don't even care i do fuck with his music but you know i i don't know i just that just is he just like so 2018 ish you know but shit i'm gonna talk about that you know what happened so dub um says that chris sales you know um can't even take care of his son he wanna i mean him and little baby chris had their time back in 2018 but now it's like you 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 not you not that no more nigga sit down chill and then you dating 18 year olds doing videos like but like how you 29 years old dating a little boy who up the bam and the and the amount the things that I did for Brittany you probably can't even do now. Like how you gonna take care of her? But you lost a whole BM, a whole basically wife. And like he was going in, but he tried to make a joke about it, but whole time he was mad. Then he put his he put everybody picture on the wall, y'all. I gotta go see this video because I'm not reacting to it. Cause I ain't ready. I'm not reacting to her video neither. I'm just gonna be talking about the shit. But y'all go check those video out. Go check Britney video out. She posted a video too, and I watched it. I ain't had to watch the, uh, the whole thing because I already knew what it was going back. What it was going to be about. But um, anywho, I don't know why I'm talking so fast, but it's just so much tea. Um, so basically, he was like, "Yeah, me and Britney, we've been together for 15 years or whatever." Um, she, she basically like. It was like basically they broke up and then they had Woo Wop. Like they broke up and then started fucking around. That's how Woo Wop was getting born. So it's like basically they really wasn't together. They relationship just been up and down basically. And I could feel that because a lot of relationships be like that when you've been with a person for a long time. Like I've been with a person for a long time. It was ups and downs, whatever, messing around with each other. You know, it's just it's the whole nest. So I get that part. But he literally was mad about how Brittany um made a comment laughing at what chris sale said personally if 
I knew I wouldn't even get mad about a damn laughing comment. That just seems like you still in your feelings about her a little bit. But it hurts you because he said something about your son. You ain't heard about what she was laughing about. But she, but he was like, you, like, Brittany, you wrong as hell. Like, why would you even laugh about that? Like, he said, I don't even have to deal with you. But Chris Hills, we we going to see each other again. Like, he was so mad. But, like, it's like, but like like he said, like, he, he said, like, Dub said, like, he wasn't trying to bring nothing to the internet. Like, he was just ignoring everything. Ignoring it, ignoring it, ignoring it. And I could feel that because it's like, why I'm saying something about all this shit? For what reason? I don't go with this girl. Um, my sister. And then he starts talking about his sister too. Like he was like, my sister probably feel like I'm a bitch because I ain't said nothing about nothing. And this girl said he talking about it. And then I'm not. And I'm studying my, my sister talking about it. But it just like certain things don't need to be said. But now when you when you when Chris sells Chris sells a shit starter low key because he Doug wasn't even about to do all this, but he did it. And now we know that their relationship wasn't really that. Like, but you can tell the difference of how Dub act with this new girl versus Britney. Like, I feel like he really met his match. Somebody that's like, I hate to say this, but somebody that's like girly, not always uh, mad. Like, look like I always look like they mad, and like they like she's uplifting him. Like, he probably feel like, okay. <sighs> it don't feel like trauma. It just feel like a breath of fresh air when I'm with this person. And it's like clear as day. So even though some people probably think that, oh, he he lost that weight. Um, he got money. And now he think he can, have, he can have all bitches. But I feel like sometimes you've been with a person so long, it's just like everything they do irritates you. Or you just got used to that. Now it's something different. Like it's okay to switch it up. It's okay to get money, lose weight, and fuck with somebody that you feel like you should not feel, but like you should um that you want. Like the somebody that's your match because even though him and Brittany been through a lot, whatever, they did they want to. She drove him to work when he was working at Comcast. Okay, that's fine. She did her big one. She's a great mother, but relationship wise that probably wasn't for a dub and i feel like that's what the internet need to understand like they've been together for a long time 14 years i guess but it's over get over it y'all they're not together it ain't like they came on this internet as a couple because we never seen them lovey-dovey like i feel like certain females have to bring that side of a man out but it's just like like, like he said on the video, if y'all gotta watch the video, he looked at the, it was like a group picture of all them, all the ladies that's in his life. Um, TT, Lexi, Valentine, and the mama, and then Brittany. And then Brittany on the side like this, like she didn't wanna be there. And it's just like, that type of shit, it's just like you get tired of it. It's just like, you don't you know you don't have to be around this family go back to Michigan if you don't like then it's like everybody fuck with this new girl that dub is with and you can tell it's like a different vibe everybody like them and like Brittany okay then we're gonna jump into Brittany go ahead video uh Brittany um video Brittany literally said in her video that she doesn't um um, if y'all don't see nobody in my videos, like she like she always got like she always like she got a fucking attitude, bro. I don't know why. I don't know why that girl like she's so mean. Like she's something is always wrong. She said if y'all don't see nobody in my video, can y'all stop? Can y'all stop bringing up old stuff? Um, that chapter been passed. Um, can y'all do that? It's just like okay, I'm finna subscribe, honey. <laughs> <laughs> I tried to, you feel me? But it's just like, as a subscriber, I'm going to have to unsubscribe because that's not, I don't, her, it's like negative energy from her. Like the other video the other day, it was cool when I watched, because I actually watch her channel. So, but her saying that, it's just like, stop bringing up the old shit. Stop doing this. I don't care about it. It's my son, my son, my son. Yeah, we know. But people are right. 
you didn't come here and now you're regretting coming here, but you did it because you wanted money, sweetheart. <laughs> then you quit a whole nursing job. You could just stay there, but you wanted your son. But she did say in the video, she wanted her son to be by both parents, which is not wrong, but you could have just worked something out. And then Dub said this, like he was sending her $3,000 out of his, when he started getting money, like 10,000 a month or something on YouTube, he was sending her money in Michigan. And then he was like, you might as well come out here with me. And then basically he literally put her on too. like. Let's not that that let's not make it seem like Dub is a goofy. Like he's not. He just goof. Like the thing about it is, y'all, these YouTubers have a different side of them, y'all. Off the camera, y'all gotta realize this is entertainment, okay? And people like low key people be having anger problems. People be having dealing with a lot of shit. But I feel like y'all didn't got Dub to his level. Now he can't. He just he didn't even put on his comments. He just went out, did his one two. It was it, it wasn't. He put it as, it wasn't a joke, but he tried to make something like he didn't care, but cause he, I, I feel like he didn't want to bug up on camera cause like he really want to, like he could have been in that bitch like, bitch, fuck that bitch, fuck that bitch, fuck, fuck Brittany, I'm trying, I'm trying not to curse, but he could have said those, he, he, he could have went off, but he didn't, he didn't, and I disagree with Chris Sales, like, Dub did what he had to do, you feel me? Yes, he wanted to hit. Yes, he wanted to lose weight. Yes, he wanted a bad bitch. That actually, like, you feel me? That he was like, he wanted to find somebody that's connected, like, connected with him and a vibe. You don't want to be around somebody all day that's depressed and something is always the problem. And I feel like that's a, that's a problem in a relationship because I can't look. I've been in a, I've been in a lot of relationships and I know when. And I've seen a lot of relationships, and it's just like, damn, like, he happy and vibing, and he always bringing this girl around. Like, you can just tell. But maybe that's Britney's healing journey. Like, maybe she's on her healing journey, and she just really don't like Dub, and that's over with. He don't even, she said he don't send her to, like, a lot of money that can cover her rent. She take care of herself. Y'all know that girl in school. Y'all know she doing her big win, trying to make a way for herself and her child. Okay, y'all. So stop bashing her. I'm just giving y'all the real uncut. And if anybody feels type of way, what I'm saying, look, I'm raw and uncut. I'm just saying feelings that I didn't see. Like these are my personal feelings too. But it's just. Things that I didn't see. Like, I've been watching these people for a long time on YouTube when both of their ass was fat as hell. <laughs> so, you know, like, I watched when Didi, look, I've been watching Dub, DDG and them for a long, long, long time. Y'all remember when, when y'all, look, real, real people know, do y'all remember when they was doing pranks with DDG, uh, that look, that the expanded girl in the hotels, that shit. That's when I first started start, start watching DDG. Then I watched DDG fly in a fake ass box on a plane, and then <laughs> he came to his new apartment in um, LA in a box. Y'all remember that? But this ain't about DDG. But shout out to him. Um, but you know, like. Y'all, we just we just gotta take this in, you know. Like I know that y'all, some of y'all fuck with Britney, some of y'all fuck with Dub, but just let them people be. And Tawanda, just let it go. That girl ain't worth it. You got your brother back. Let her let 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 let, let the her go, girl. Let, let let it go. Let it go. Let it go. Okay, Tawanda, just let it go. It's not worth your. It's not worth your peace. Okay, this girl. She all she cares about her son, her peace, her going to Walmart, her going to you know do her little thing on you. Just let that girl be. Shit, stop talking about it. It's over with. That's it. But we don't. But we don't know what Brittany is doing outside the camera. That you know. But Brit, uh, Tawanda and Brittany let that beef go. Cause at the end of the day, only thing you need to care about Tawanda is your nephew will wop. Only thing. Brittany, care about your son and your life. That's it, and that's all. That's all I got to say about the situation. Chris L, stop being messy. Stop it. Stop it. Ooh, out of verb. But stop being messy. For real, for real. Stop being messy, okay? You a grown-ass man. And then you is kind of weird dating a 20-year-old or 18-year-old, whatever that little girl is. But, yeah. But to each his own, y'all. 
anyways that's all i gotta say if y'all like this video comment down below if you want me to do more rtt videos comment down below also like comment subscribe and don't forget to turn on that notification bezel and always remember the purpose of living is to keep on living i know i was talking best as hell in this video because i'm low-key tired because it's a uh, 127 in the morning but uh i'm gonna try to post as much as i can y'all i'll just be <sighs> my mental ain't right these days sometimes but hey life but um anyway bye y'all